Tel Aviv, Haifa. There. In the coast? In the coast? Oh, yes, it's like close. See? So, Dennis, our cool boy. This is the first visit to Germany for most of these 12 Israeli teenagers. They're spending a week in Potsdam, staying with German young people of the same age. The 16 to 18 year olds do art projects together, a seemingly totally normal encounter among youths. They're just like us, and we're just like them. There's no difference. It would be the same with other kids. So the past is finished. Yes, it has nothing to do with that. It's completely forgotten. In a positive sense, forgotten. The kids are designing windows for synagogues. The Israelis in particular don't take this kind of cooperation for granted. Before I came, a lot of people in Israel told me things about the Germans. It was always about history. And then I came here and met the other kids, and I realized they're people just like us. They talk like us, they dress like us. We can be friends. But the Flick Foundation has yet to convince a lot of people of its aims. The exchange program with Israel is still somewhat controversial. On the Israeli side, there's still a lot of fear about coming to Germany, even among children, although it's the third or fourth generation after the Holocaust. Some of them had great-great-grandparents who died in the Holocaust or were persecuted. That gets passed down for a long time. Overcoming those fears is one of the Foundation's goals. It sees its work as political, on a personal scale. As Germans, we of course have a special responsibility in relation to Israel. So the Foundation's goals in regard to Israel are naturally also about political involvement. Another example of political engagement is the Foundation's support for a memorial in Potsdam. It's a former jail where the Nazis, then the Soviets, and finally the East German Stasi interrogated and tortured prisoners. Here, German pupils learn about the horrors of totalitarian systems. Just going into the rooms has something very oppressive and sinister. I think that affects young people the most. It's one thing for them to read about it in a book, but when they come into a room like this, which has a terrible history, they're moved by it in a very different way. Former inmates tell the pupils about their experiences. Initially, there were guides who'd been jailed by the Gestapo. Now it's ex-Stasi victims who are teaching history firsthand. I had to sit on a stool bolted to the floor, and that went on for several hours. I had no armrests, no backrest, and if I started to slump, they'd shout at me. And then the interrogator came and said, so, why don't you tell us? The Flick Foundation also wants to reach pupils who live in rural parts of eastern Germany with a high incidence of neo-Nazi activity. It hopes to teach them about right-wing extremism. One of the goals of our foundation is to work against right-wing extremism and the violence that results from it. In the whole of Europe today, it's no longer left-wing extremism that's the problem, as much as right-wing extremism. The principles of the Flick Foundation are also at the heart of its German-Israeli exchange. For a decade, the foundation has promoted encounters between young people, and it hopes to continue that work for years to come.